Get a good view of this. DNA Tooth leaves Battle Rock? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm getting this from the right angle. DNA Tooth leaves Battle Rock. Retiring. Oh, they flagged his YouTube channel. Poor baby. I blow it, see, play. Hey. Your boy, you see, net. How that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell. With bath and body works. It's sad and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive-bys and don't own the whip. Time come, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony. Cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs. Battles. Music videos. Interviews. And much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. What's good, y'all? <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. Y'all knew I was going to blog about this. Like, y'all just knew it. Come on. Be serious. Y'all knew Y'all seen them headlines, the people was posting, y'all seen the tweet, people posting, and y'all just knew, the thought clicked in your mind, yo, no mercy finna have a field day with this nigga, man, DNA Tooth, Dwayne, how you doing, sir, you out of here, you leaving, we gonna miss you, it was great having you around. Na 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 hey 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 goodbye I should edit that and put like a trap beat over it and make it sound like some some trap shit like na 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 hey <laughs> yo man listen what'd you think you can't just run around doing the shit you doing on YouTube and think that you're eventually not going to get your channel taken down. It's a lot of copyright infringement going on. You posting people's spaces. You using people's battle footage, people blog footage in your videos. You are using a whole lot of content that you do not own. Stupid. That's why your channel's gone, dumbass. That's what you get. So you. The white boy from Detroit and all the other people that be posting other people's content. Listen, there's some people that post other people's content that I fuck with. You understand what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of them. People who be posting the spaces, people who be posting like other shit. But there are some people that actually do it with some sort of class and tact. You know, people like D.I. the Henny Man. But the rest of y'all just be posting people's shit. Y'all be with this corny ass commentary over it and then try to be, oh, fair use. I'm just commentating. I'm just speaking on it. No, you're insulting the people whose content you're stealing. So, yes, when y'all shit get flagged, fucking good for you. You're going to repackage and I, and I use this uh, when I was in the spaces earlier, right? You gonna repackage somebody else's work, resell it, and at the same time be insulting them? What sense does that make? You're using other people to eat. Some of y'all, y'all entire content library is based off other people's content. Like at Let's Chop This Fable, we don't have to do that. Me, Sly, and Excel, we make good enough content on our own. Me, I make good enough content on my own. Like, I don't have to do that. And some of us, that don't have to do that. Cool. The channel might not have a crazy amount of subscribers. Might not get crazy amounts of views. Cool. But guess what? I can honestly say, all of the content that's on this channel, I own. It is mine. It came from my camera. Whether it's this... Uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra 
that I'm using right now that cost over a thousand dollars, whether it's my black magic 4k pocket cinema camera that cost me about $1,400. Well, if you add in memory cards, mics and blah, 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 I probably paid about 2000 altogether, but you get what I'm saying. You know, the laptop that I edit on nice gaming laptop with all the processes and blah, blah, blah. Probably spent about 2000 on that. Um, what else? Like, it's so much shit that niggas use to create this content, spend a lot of money on. So when you see some weirdo from a trailer in Detroit commentating, starting and stopping and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yo, dog. And then getting super chats and shit like that. It's like, yo, bro, you basically repackaging and using my content to make yourself a living. But you're not doing it in like a good, tasteful manner. No, you're insulting me over my own content. And you think you're supposed to be allowed to continue to do that? Nope. That's why YouTube has a flag button on it. So when people do that, you get flags. And I've even, let me also speak on this too, because I've seen a white boy from Detroit talking about, oh, he played a Jay-Z song in his video. Jay-Z flagged me. No. Jay-Z didn't flag you. Jay-Z doesn't know who you are. What happened was the internet nowadays has a lot of auto detect features, right? So in YouTube, even on Facebook Live, when you're playing songs, there's something that'll come up instantly because they recognize the song. You also got to remember these platforms are streaming services. They also have to pay out royalties to a lot of artists and companies and shit like that because of how the streaming thing works and how everything is so integrated into the internet overall. So that's why Twitch has uh, recently come down on people about using other people's content because it's automatically flagged. So if right now in this video, if I start playing Thriller by Michael Jackson, you know what's gonna happen? The video is gonna get flagged immediately for copyright infringement. It Before y'all see it, before y'all see it, it's going to get flagged. It's going to pop up on YouTube right after it finishes processing and uploading. It's going to say copyright claim from Sony or whatever company owns Michael Jackson's music. And that's just what happens. Some people, like a nigga like him, he'll play a Michael Jackson song on his stream and he'll say, oh, Michael Jackson came back from the dead and flagged me. No, stupid. It's automatically detected. So that's why you got flagged. You understand? But um, aside from that, if you're using other people's content and people can make a claim of ownership for the content, as in, oh, this is my Twitter space. I started it from my Twitter account, blah, blah, blah. Or this is my Instagram live, whatever the case is. Like DNA 2 have been doing, stealing angry fans on um, Instagram lives and eating off of them. You do shit like that. Somebody has a right to take your channel down. And take your videos down. So that's just what it is. So you know how you can prevent that? Stop using other people's content. Actually be entertaining on your own. Actually know how to speak and have conversation on your own or with your chat without using other people's content. Shit, if you can't use video and audio, shit, use pictures or something. You understand? Figure it out. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, um, niggas being mad about, you know, all these channels being taken down and shit like that. The problem is, niggas don't be using original content. You feel me? Look at Jim's. Look at Jim's channel. Jim's channel is all him recording his content on his phone. It's not even no edit, no logo on his shit, nothing. Just straight uploaded from his phone. His personal device that he uses to record his blogs. Why the rest of y'all can't do that? Or get a camera or a webcam or something like that to record your content and not be using other people's shit. You understand? This is why I had to fill day with the white boy because when he started on his tirade of, of bullshit, calling me a snitch and all this other shit, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a whole night just up chilling. I was just up chilling, playing Call of Duty. At the same time, my, my TV's right here. My computer's right here. In between, that, in between, bam, bam, bam. Oh, I got killed. I got to wait to respawn. Okay. Go to his channel, scroll through his video, see if he used any of my content in the past. Boom. Hit that man with like a super combo. Remember X-Men versus Street Fighter? You bop, 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 bop. 
just a super combo of uh, copyright strikes one night. I'm pretty sure he woke up that morning with a nice bunch of email notifications. 15 of them probably. And you know what he did? Sent me that nice little email that I showed y'all. Apologizing. Asking me, begging me to take my strikes back. Which I did. But, you know, for some reason he chose to still, you know, imagine begging somebody for your life. That's what uh, they say in the 48 Laws of Power. When you destroy, destroy completely. Because you beat somebody up. You let them get up. And then they want to fight again after you done already whooped them. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so, um, it's just crazy. You feel me? But it's good for DNA tools. It's good for them. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's been leagues. It's, you know, I never even told y'all this, right? It was a big league that hit me up asking me when I exposed them if the info was real because they were planning on suing his ass. You understand? Because he posted some shit that was messing up business that he wasn't supposed to. Get what I'm saying? Like, and he has a track record of doing stuff like that. It's certain, you know, low stuff he done posted. Like, yo, this happened, this happened, and, you know. So, it's a combination of things with him. You get what I'm saying? So, he's out of here. He's out of here. He done finally threw in the towel. I guess he put up a little tweet earlier. Yo, I'm done with battle rap. Blah, blah, blah. They flagged my YouTube channel. Oh, I cop And then he, he tried to uh, 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 throw a shot at the end. I've, I've accomplished what most bloggers can't accomplish in years. And guess what? It all came crashing down on you, bozo. So go home, back to the Bronx or wherever you're staying at now, and cry your little eyes out, your little puppet. All that money you wasted getting that puppet done and doing all this hard work and, and, and uh, stream yards and recording people's spaces and blah, blah, blah. And your channels keep on getting taken down. Your social media keep on getting taken down too. Your Twitter been taken down. Your Instagram has been taken down. How are you mad at everybody else? You know who you should be mad at? Yourself. You thought you was cool. You was making a nice little amount of chicken. You know, recording people's spaces. You thought that was the way. You thought, yeah, I'm recording all these people's spaces. My fans just donate to me. They buy my merch. They running my ad revenue up, blah, blah, blah. I'm making money. Probably don't got a job, bum ass. And was just relying on the YouTube money. Well, guess what? UPS is hiring, buddy. So is McDonald's. So is Walmart. It's a lot of places hiring. Listen, I got a job for you. I need an editor. Because I got a whole bunch of projects that I'm uh, doing with No Mercy TV, right? I need somebody that can come in and help me edit. You feel what I'm saying? I pay you $2 an hour, and you can edit my stuff. The, the little thumbnails you be making, I like them. They all funny and shit. I like when you do the little voiceover and all that. So if you want, I can hire you $2 an hour, and you can come work for me. You understand? You won't be the first, you won't be the first employee that I have on payroll. You understand what I'm saying? I also got an assistant that comes and helps me shoot a lot of my videos and, you know, stuff like that. So it's a lot going on over here at No Mercy TV. You feel me? But if you need a job, I got you. No Mercy got you. No Mercy, the big homie. He going to help you. He going to, you know, get you right. Help you get back on your feet. Hopefully the $2 an hour, you know, help you. Maybe you get a new puppet. Maybe you get a new YouTube channel. You could do some ads to promote your channel and, you know, you'll be good. That $2 an hour going, you know what I mean? It ain't much, but it, it help you out. You understand? You broke. You need all the money you can get right now. You feel know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. But no mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. Karma. Karma. That's all it is. It's how the world works. You put out certain energy. It travels around the globe. And it comes right back to you. You understand? So, Dwayne, have a good day. I'll be seeing you soon. I, I, I Listen, I done told my peoples, right? If they see a resume from someone named Dwayne, I'm not going to put your last name out. That's doxing, right? Told my peoples, if they see a resume from you, send your shit to the front of the list. It don't matter how many other people um send their resumes in. The second they see yours, expedite it straight to my office. I call you. I bring you into the office so you can sit down. You feel like you got to sit on the floor though. You don't get to sit in the chair. Like you, you done did too much. You get to sit in the. You get to sit on the floor. Sit on a nice little uh, rug. 
and I explain to you what we do over here at No Mercy TV. We create content. Um, we help people get on bigger platforms. We do a whole bunch of shit to help people because this is what No Mercy TV is all about. So hey, this is what I'm doing with you. I'm trying to help you. You understand? So that's what we're going to do. You get me? So just holler at me. Let me know what's up. And I'll make you an employee on this side. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But No Mercy, Trap New York shit, NoMercyTV.com. <sighs> y'all going to learn y'all lesson one day. Pretty sure the rest of y'all about to get taken down at some point too, but I'll keep those words to myself. Peace.